How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're going to be building this Viking house that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And for a full list of building materials you will need for this build, as well as the map cords where I built this, go ahead and check out the description below for all of that. So with all of that said, guys, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so first thing we have to do is lay out our foundation. So we're going to start off with a 4x4 four four stone foundation. Then here on the front, we're going to come one foundation in and place three more like this and do that one more time. And this will make up the foundation for our build. So just go ahead and switch all of these to block. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and start placing our pillars. So starting here on our front left corner, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the front. And we'll place one wooden pillar on the outside and two here on the inside. We'll come over here to the right and place another wooden fence foundation right here. And we will place two more pillars on the corner we're going to place another wooden fence foundation right here. And on this inside corner, we're going to place four wooden pillars. Coming over here to this right side, we'll place another one on this foundation. And we're going to place three wooden pillars on the corner. And one right here on this inline. We'll do the same thing here on this corner. And the same thing over here on this corner on the left side. And we'll do this one more time right here on this foundation. Now we're gonna go ahead to the inside and place some pillars on the inside. So here on the back left corner in line with this pillar, we'll place another wooden fence foundation and add one more wooden pillar. Then on this in line right here, we're gonna place another wooden fence foundation. So that's right there. And we're going to place four wooden pillars on each side of it. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and place our first layer of walls, which is going to be stone. So we're gonna start off here on the front left corner with a stone wall. We're gonna place our stone door frame and reinforced door here in the middle. We'll place another stone wall right here. Two more over here on the side. Right here, we'll place a stone window frame and fill that in with a reinforced window. We'll place a stone wall right here. In these middle two, we'll place stone window frames and reinforced windows. And then another stone wall right here. We'll take stone walls all the way across the back. Then on this side, we'll start off with a stone wall, two more stone window frames and reinforced windows. And then we'll just finish off the build with stone walls. Next, we're going to go ahead and get out some wooden catwalks and we're going to come over here to the right side, place one on top of this pillar, one right here in the middle and one more on this pillar. Come to the back side and place three more just like this. And then come over here to the left side and do the same thing as we did on the right. Next, we're going to go ahead and build up some stuff here on the inside. So in this back left corner, we're going to start off in line with this one wooden pillar by placing a sloped wooden wall left. Then between these two pillars, we're going to place a wooden wall and another sloped wooden wall left. Over here between the pillar and the wall, we're going to start off by placing a wooden door frame, wooden door, and then another wooden wall. And then we're going to go ahead and place a wooden ceiling right here in this corner. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is start building up our next layer of walls. So starting off here on the left side, what we're going to be doing is going around the entire build and above the stone section, we're going to be placing a line of thatched ceilings, except for on these two walls right here. We're going to leave those two open. We don't need to place ceilings there. So just go around the rest and place thatched ceilings and just leave those ones open. So it should look like this now. So now we're, what we're gonna do is come over here to the right side and right here above this thatch ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped thatch wall left. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this on the thatch ceiling. 
Then we're gonna get out a stone railing and we're gonna be looking for this green snap point. So you may need to rotate it, you may not, but once you have this green snap point, go ahead and place that down. That'll be placing on the stone wall below it. Now go around and do this here on the right side, on the back, and also on those four over there on the left. Now that we have those done, we can go ahead and start adding our walls. So first, starting off here on the front, on the left corner, we're gonna go ahead and place the appropriate sloped wooden wall. And we're again going to be rotating the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Go ahead and add a wooden wall in the middle right here and another one right here. And we are not gonna create our peak yet. Over here, we're gonna add two more wooden walls. Right here in this corner, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped thatch wall left and again, rotate it and place it like this. We're gonna use a sloped thatch because we're going to need that later on. Now we're gonna go ahead and start replacing these thatch walls with wooden walls. So first here on the right side, we'll get out a wooden wall and rotate through the snap points until it's placing like this, destroying that thatch wall. Go ahead and add another one on top and do the same thing on these other three. Here on the back side, we'll start off with two wooden walls right here and then the appropriate sloped wooden wall. We'll place three wooden walls right here. And again, we are not gonna create our peak yet. Place three more right here. And then right here, go ahead and place two more wooden walls and the appropriate sloped wooden wall. On this side, we'll just go ahead and place two more wooden walls in each of these spots. And then again, we will not be placing anything right there. So we're gonna go ahead around and destroy these thatch ceilings, but you do need to leave this one right here in place. So destroy the rest of them, but leave that one. All right, so now we're gonna go back inside and build up some more stuff. So first right here between these two pillars, we're gonna start off right here by getting out a wooden wall. And we're going to again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Go ahead and place two more on top of that and then place a sloped wooden wall right on top of that. Then in this next spot, we're going to place three more wooden walls, just like this. Then right here, we're gonna start off by placing two wooden double door frames, again by rotating them, and then a wooden wall on top of those. Now we'll head inside and in this back right corner, right here, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ceiling. We'll add another one right here, and then two more in front of those, just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a stone stair to fill this in right here. Go ahead and do that again right here. And then come up top here and we're just going to place a wooden railing on each of these ceilings right here and one more right here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and build up that Viking peak starting off here on this front section of the build. We're gonna come inside here and place a wooden ceiling attached to each of these wooden walls, just like that. Go ahead and get out a wooden fence foundation and place it right down this inline between those two ceilings. And then on the front here, go ahead and place a wooden pillar attached to that and drop two more down from it. Then go on the back side of that and add one more wooden pillar right here. Now we're gonna get out wooden fence foundations again and we're going to add one more to each side of the one we already placed. So one right here and one more right here. So you should have three now. Go ahead and get out wooden walls and we're going to start off by placing one on that far fence foundation, just like this. Get out another one and rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you find one here in the middle that you can place, just like that. And go ahead and do that one more time here on this close fence foundation right here. So now you'll have three wooden walls. So we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden catwalk and we're going to be placing this on that middle wooden wall. So just like this right here, you'll see the middle two beams of the catwalk will be hugging that middle wall. Go ahead and add two more catwalks in the same line heading into our build. Then you can go ahead here on the front and add another wooden pillar to the pillar on the front. Now go ahead and get out your sloped wooden walls here on the front. We're gonna start with a sloped wooden wall right. And again, go ahead and rotate the snap point so it's placing like this. 
do that with a sloped wooden wall left right here. Then come to the back side and go ahead and add another sloped wooden wall left right here. It can just face like this, that's fine. And a sloped wooden wall right, right there. And then on the top, starting here on the right side, we're gonna get out a sloped wooden wall right. And we're gonna be looking for this snap point that is as close to us as possible. And we are then just going to flip that wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it looks like this. Go ahead and place it and you'll see it should be up tight to the side of that pillar. Come to this side and get out a sloped wooden wall left and just do the exact same thing. And you'll see it's placing tight to the pillar on this side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and finish off this front portion. So the first thing we're gonna do is head in here where we have these catwalks and add another wooden wall on top of each of these wooden walls. Then we can go ahead and fill in our roof here with sloped wooden roofs. And do the same thing over here on these ones on this side. Then we're gonna head back over to this side and we are going to drop a sloped wooden roof down right here and add another one to the side of it. Now we can go ahead and get out a wooden wall and we're going to rotate through the snap point again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one right here that will be replacing that thatch half wall that we had placed. Go ahead and add another wooden wall on top of that. Again, make sure you're getting that same snap point and then add your appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of that. You can then go in here and destroy this thatch ceiling. And then the last thing we're gonna do right here on this corner, we're going to snap a wooden pillar just like this in line with that wooden pillar. And then one more right here in the center. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add that same Viking style roof here on the other portion of our build. So we'll start off here on these two wooden walls right here by placing wooden ceilings inside of them. Go ahead and do that on the back side as well. Then we will again place a wooden fence foundation right down that inline on both of these. Then go ahead here on the back and add a wooden pillar to, the, to that fence foundation and then just continue dropping them down until we reach the ground. So just like that. Go ahead and place another one on top of that wooden pillar we already have placed. And then you can go ahead and place another one on top of this wooden pillar as well. And then here on the front, go ahead and again, snap one to the wooden fence foundation on the front drop another one down from that, and then head inside and continue doing this till you reach the ground. And then again, go ahead and place one more on the other side of that wooden fence foundation. So just like that. Now we'll go ahead and get out more wooden fence foundations. And again, we will place one on each side of the one we already have placed, giving us three total. And go ahead and do that on the back side as well. And then go ahead and again, get out wooden walls and first place one on the far wooden fence foundation. Rotate through and place one on this middle one. And then again, one more here on the close one so that you have three total. And do the same thing back here. So just like that. Then you can go ahead and get out a wooden catwalk and we are again going to line it up with that middle wall, just like this again, so it's hugging the middle wall and just continue taking these back until we reach the back pillar on our back side of our build. So just like that. Now go ahead and add another wooden pillar to this front one and the back one. And then we will again get out our appropriate sloped wooden wall and here on the front, we'll just rotate them around so they're placing like this on each one of these ceilings. And then add one more here on this back side as well right here and do the same thing over here. And then again, we will go to the top here above the catwalks and we will again get out the sloped wooden wall right for this side right here and a flip the sloped wooden wall around again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Now do a left one over on this side. Go ahead over here and we're gonna do a right one right here and then we'll do a left one over here. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and fill in this entire roof with sloped wooden roofs.
All right, so now here on our right side, we're gonna head into this pillar right here and place a wooden ladder on it. Go ahead and climb up on this ladder and get out a wooden fence foundation and then jump off. And we're just going to line this up right here with the pillar, just so it's just kind of barely sticking out from the pillar, just like that. Go ahead and get out another one and come over here and do the same thing in front of this pillar. Do the same thing again right here where the walls or the foundations divide right here. Again over here in front of this pillar. And one more time over here in front of this end pillar. So just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and get out wooden pillars and we are going to be placing it in line with that pillar. So you'll see here we'll have two snap points. One's on that fence foundation and one is on the pillar. Go ahead and place it like that and then add one more on top and do that on these other spots as well. And then once you have all of those pillars placed, let's just go back over here and place a stone railing on top of the fence foundation and do that on each spot. And then you can also go back and destroy that wooden ladder. Now continuing here on the right side, we're going to come to the top of these walls right here and we're going to go to this far back one right here and add a thatch ceiling just like that. This will allow us to then get out a sloped wooden roof and snap them down from the ones we already have just like that. And you can go ahead and add one more below the thatch ceiling and then go ahead and pick up or destroy your thatch ceiling and you will see the roofs will remain. All right, now over here on our left side, we're going to add that little bit of a yard that we have. So the first thing we're gonna do here on this front pillar is place a wooden ladder. Go ahead and climb on it, look down a little bit and get out a wooden fence support and then go ahead and jump off and just line this up to the middle of the ladder and just a little bit so it's barely poking out of it. Then we're gonna go ahead and without looking around, we're going to walk straight over to the backside of our build and place another one of these right here in front of this pillar. Again, doing the same thing, just lining it up so that it's right in the middle of the pillar and just barely sticking out, just like that. Go ahead back to the front here and we are going to go ahead and add two more in line with this one. So you're gonna to need to rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that is in line and add one more. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden pillar right here on the end of that and add one more on top. We're gonna go ahead and place another wooden fence support. Now we're gonna be placing this one kind of at an angle right here. Go ahead and add another wooden pillar to the side of that and one more on top. And then go ahead and get out a wooden fence support again. And we're gonna be looking for the one that's kind of straight like this. So just like that. And then again, go ahead and get out a wooden pillar and add one more on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out stone walls. Now on this side, you're going to need to actually flip the stone wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's looking like this. Go ahead and place a stone wall on each of these. Again, make sure you're flipping them. And then go ahead and add stone railings on top of them. So now that we have this side done, we're just gonna go around to the back and we are going to completely duplicate what we just did over here on the back side. All right, so now that we have both of these sides done, the last thing we're gonna do for our build is head back to the front of the build and go ahead and place our stone stair right here at the door. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now, I'm gonna go ahead real quick and add some paint to this thing and also do a little bit of decorating. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. Alright guys, so like I said, I've added some paint to the build and also done some decorating. So first here on the outside with the paint scheme, I have used the mud color for all of the darker wood like the roofs and the pillars. And then I've used a combination of the tan and mud color here on all of our other wooden walls. And I've just left all of our stone alone on its default color. For decorations here in the side yard, I've added kind of like a garden area on each side. I've just added some general clutter using storage boxes and whatnot. And then I've also placed a composition bin over here as well as a feeding trough just to kind of turn this area into a garden. On the other side of the build, you will see that we have some dire wolves pulled up here into these little parking spots. And then obviously we have a trophy here on the front with a dragon head on it. We'll go ahead inside now. 
So this initial area here on the inside is just kind of like a greeting little like kind of seating area, I guess, right here. So we've just kind of added some general seating and whatnot. And then as we go through here, we have kind of like our large tribal dinner table right here where our whole entire clan of Vikings would be sitting. And then we have kind of like our king's throne over here as well. We've got some more clutter over here, just kind of adding some more decor to the side there. And then up here, I've just kind of created a little bed and just kind of cluttered it up a little bit to kind of make this our, you know, whoever lives here's bedroom up top here. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, as well as a link to my Discord where you can come hang out, chat, and also share pictures and ideas for builds. Anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.